Hi everyone, Ian here. You know, it's a big week for sharks, so we thought it'd be a great idea to head up to the PPG Aquarium and talk with one of our aquarists, and that's why Ariella is joining us here today. We're gonna talk about sharks. So first off, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Can you tell us a little bit about our sharks? Yeah, so in our big ocean exhibit, we have five different species of sharks. Black tip reef sharks, zebra sharks, bamboo sharks, we have both a white spotted bamboo shark and a brown banded bamboo shark, as well as one epaulette shark. Now where are they native to? All of the sharks in our big ocean exhibit are native to the Indo-Pacific, so Thailand, Australia, the Red Sea, that part of the world. What do they eat? It's one of my favorite questions. Every time I get to ask that, what do they eat? Yeah, so in their natural environment, sharks eat sick, dead, dying, or injured fish for the most part depending on the species. Here at the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium, we feed the sharks in our care a wide variety of food items. So our black tip reef sharks get a variety of different items, including squid, pollock, smelt, herring, and capelin. Our zebra sharks get a lot of those same food items as well. And additionally, they'll get in a broadcast feed, which is a general feeding to everyone in the exhibit, um, some shrimp, scallops, clam, things of that nature. Um, most of the time when we're doing a feed for the sharks, we do a target feeding for them. So our shark species are trained to come over to a specific target and that helps us be able to make sure that each one of them is receiving the right amount of food based on their weight and size as well as the species. It also makes it so we can give them vitamin supplements specifically for sharks and it helps us as well to get them to work on participating voluntarily in their own veterinary care. Now, what are some of your favorite facts about sharks? I know we have one shark in particular that's kind of like a sweeper. Like a vacuum cleaner sweeper? Yeah. Yeah, so that would be our zebra shark. So zebra sharks, when they're born, their bodies are covered in stripes, and as they get older, those stripes turn into spots. And they are what we refer to as a benthic feeder. So that means that they hang out more on the bottom of the ocean floor and they kind of cruise around the reef and they use whiskers like this that are called barbells to help them look through the sand and detect prey items and then they use a strong vacuum-like suction in order to suck in small fish and inverts from off of the reef for their meal. Thank you for watching the video today. Remember, you can plan your visit to the Pittsburgh Zoo at pittsburghzoo.org. Also remember, you can do a wild encounter here at the aquarium and actually see our sharks in action. All the information online, pittsburghzoo.org. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the zoo.